Tech Innovation and Tech Talks with Paul and Ants. One Innovation and Tech Talks with Paul and Ants. How's it going? This is Ants. This is Paul. It's been a little bit since we posted, we know. It is, but yeah, yeah. we have a, quite the treat for you today. Because today we are getting into something that's kind of been a huge topic on Facebook, uh, or just around Facebook for a while, which is targeted ads and kind of, you know, what your, I guess, online history, right. what they know about you, yeah. pretty much. And what's weird is, so our, our um, assistant editor, Andrew, is the one that told us about uh, this. I should have just taken credit for it. Um, but you can do it straight from Facebook. You just go to the settings and you can download your quote unquote, like Facebook history. Yes, You can see who has access to your profile, mm-hmm. which advertisers like basically use your data. Yes. And, and, uh, what I'm, what I'm, what's surprising about this is that it's not some third party extension that it is something that Facebook itself actually allows you to do. Right. Um, I'm sure it's not something that they advertise, uh, mm-hmm. haha, but like, you know, it's, it, it's through their site. And so we're going to do it. I've, mm-hmm. I have no idea what's going to pop up. Neither do I. Um, and I'm we're also going to take you through it. So if you want to follow along, open up your, uh, Facebook and download your, uh, download this report yourselves, uh, you can do so with us, and we'll have a laugh, or uh, we'll shriek in terror. Or we'll, or we'll just end this podcast abruptly, and you'll never hear from me again. <laughs> right. I'll be on some island somewhere yeah, yeah, at yeah. that point. It's really bad. Um, so fire up those Commodore 64s, and we and you begin, log into Facebook, go to your settings, and then, oh, how did I get there? What, you know one thing I've noticed about um, uh, Facebook lately, and I know everyone complains about any like social media apparatus, but you know, I really, I really have noticed that, you know, back in the day I used to complain a lot about people just sharing, like blogging about their lives on Facebook. I'd be right. like, I don't care what you had for cereal, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't care. Uh, you know, but I miss that because now yeah. what people have been trained to share, they really have been just like a company like where, you know, you have people who, uh, they're, uh, they're SEO specialists and they come in and you know, they, 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 they tell you, this is what's the this is the most effective way to post on social media. Right. You know? uh, I feel like we've kind of been like we have this intuition now about like what should I share with all of my friends on Facebook so that I'll get the most feedback, the most comments, the most likes. Right. Um, and uh, I'll rarely see people on my Facebook wall posting just their thoughts. Mm. Um, posting some comments about a movie they saw. Sometimes I will, but not as not as often. Mostly what's being shared is is media, pictures, you know, mm. video. And that's even um even if it is a thought, they now have that thing where you can have this colorful background uh with just the text laid over it uh and it's just a regular post, but now that that regular post is enhanced by you being able to like background your text with like right. some colorful, you know, uh like picture, like picture background kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So it's kind of like we we know that. Oh well, I, I want to get the most you know ROI on my Facebook post. Right. I better like put a video with it. I better put a picture. Like you know, sometimes I mean it, it's it, there are of course exceptions to the rule, but just like you're if you're airing some thought on Facebook, it's not going to get the kind of response that a selfie would. Right. right? Well, I mean, like, and I think that's why Instagram is so uh, almost not more popular than Facebook, but that's like the hip social media is because it's a way to update people on your life, but you do it mainly through that media, which is through pictures. Yeah. It's really, really smartly done that way. Yeah. Um, What do you, I mean, what do you find you actually post on Facebook? I rarely post anything anymore. Um, What's really funny is that like, well, first off, like I said, you know, I, I, I've started to just completely ignore Facebook and I find that it's, everything's an ad on Facebook, you know, uh, mm. it's not, they're, they're not so obvious, you know, cause they're not like banner ads most of the time, but, um, you know, I, I guess ever, sometimes I'll do that like, uh, advertisement on the side. Yeah. You know? Um, but, uh, you know, all of those videos, like, uh, you know, where you, once again, it's like, you see the text, you know, scrolling over the video, you know, fading in and out or whatever. Uh, and like, you'll never believe this, this new piece of like technology that exists now. And, right. Like, look at what this can do. Uh, so often it's an advertisement, mm-hmm. you know, it's an advertisement that has been tailor made for sharing through social media by like McCann agency or something like right. that in New York. 
Um, and, and people don't even know that they're sharing advertisements, but they are. I mean, that's the beauty of Facebook. That yeah. I mean, I'm basically explaining the, the base business model of, 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 Facebook. Fa- of, of contemporary Facebook. And here's going to be, I think, a big thing that we're going to talk about today. I guess, is that overall a good or bad thing? Because I'm of the mind um, that, you know, this is just how, this is just the business of being in the internet. So much, we get so much free content yeah. and whatnot that, of course, they're going to have to, you know, do some advertising. Of course, they're going to have to have sponsored posts. Yeah. And honestly, most of the time when I see a sponsored post, it is something that I enjoy or something that's relevant mm-hmm. to me. So it feels to me kind of weird to, I don't know, say, well, I don't want that. It's because it's most of the time it's an article that I legitimately want to read or yeah. that I'm something that I'm interested in. Uh, maybe I'm viewing this through rose colored glasses, but I feel like there was a time on Facebook where it did feel more like I was viewing the thoughts and, and experiences of my friends. Now right. it's more like a long media crawl mm, uh, than interesting. anything else. So it's almost like a, um, uh, almost like a Tumblr page now where it's just people yeah. kind of resharing like images they've seen, articles they've seen, and then maybe like a little commentary from them. Yeah, that's true. It's almost, it's less original content. Right. Weirdly enough. Yeah. 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 Well, t- to be fair, though, I'm friends with a number of bands, so I see a little bit more of that. So sure. it'll be come to my show or uh, a video of them playing yeah. or something like that. But you're right. It's Most of the time, it's like uh, they'll post a Washington Post article and mm-hmm. say, can you believe that this is happening yeah, yeah, or yeah. something like that? That's a good point. Well, um, one thing I started doing recently, um, because I, you know, I'm in the media, so I figured out I might as well you know, start to try to market myself, you know, whatever, you know, um, I feel like that's the worst side of like being a writer (laughs) is like having to be, you know, having to hawk yourself, you know, um, as a writer, I feel like the work should sell itself, you know, um, but at the same time, you do have to have that, uh, that kind of, you know, that publicity, you know, um, uh, you know, even Walt Whitman, you know, uh, shopped his book around and wrote fake reviews for it, you know, to get his career started. He really did. He he wrote fake fake reviews for Leak of of Grass. He's the kind of dude that would get like banned from Yelp. It's just a part of, it's just a part of being a writer. You have to, you have to do it. So, you know, I feel like I, you know, I I was like, it's something I've been ignoring. So I decided, okay, well, um, I'm going to get a Twitter account. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll pump my numbers up on Facebook, you know? And so, you know, I, originally, all my Facebook friends were people I knew or, you know, was actually legitimately, like, friends with. Right. Um, but what I started doing was, like, I did this literally two nights ago. I just sent out a bunch of friend requests. Kind of like you do, like, if, if you have a LinkedIn profile. Yeah. Um, that's what you do. You just blindly send out right. um, <laughs> those Anybody LinkedIn Anybody that you have any mild, like, relationship with yep. ever. Yep, yep. Or not. Or, yeah. Or not. Or um, and then you're just trying to get that 500 plus thing so it looks like you're Mr. Important. Right? Oh, yeah. Uh, and so basically I did the same thing with Facebook. I feel like Facebook didn't use to work this way. I don't know. But um, I could – I was just sending like en masse email – like the, 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 the connection requests, like friend requests. Like oh, like I, it, it was a lot like LinkedIn, which is why I like said connection requests. Like you – uh, I went down the line. I sent so many of them, yeah. and they all like accepted me. They didn't so, know me. They just blindly accepted me as a friend. You were doing that thing where you, uh, you where you get that random uh, Facebook yeah. uh, request, I and was, it's like I a was picture of a bikini, <laughs> and it's somebody like zero mutual friends. Yeah, but you get the request. Yeah, I, and they, I, I couldn't have sent that many out. I mean, I guess I did. I, I don't know, um, because I, I, I was doing it so quickly. But the next day, I. I woke up. I, I had literally a hundred more friends Seriously? than I had before. Hundred more. I, yeah. I couldn't have sent more than a hundred and ten or a hundred and twelve or whatever. But I had a hundred new friends the right. next day. Uh, the I only had two people message me. I did. I didn't know any of these people. Right. I, I only had two people message me and say like, "Hey, um, Where, how do I know you? Who are you?" Um, they accepted the friend request. Yeah. And then they asked me like, "How did I know? How do I know you?" And I responded like, "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> to both of them. So what did they say? Well, one of them was like, uh, well, one of them was like, well, why did you, why are we friends now? And I said, well, you pressed accept. Yes. <laughs> I sent you a friend request that is and a you good, accepted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, and then if we kind of just left it at that. Um, like, well, see ya. All right. <laughs> I don't know. She may, friends have, now. Yeah, she may have unfriended me. And what was really surprising about it is I thought that I would get a lot of uh, acceptances by like the men um, and that the women would just not, you know, right. accept it at all. Um 
So, uh, I mean, granted, I'm, I'm married, so it, it may be a little less threatening, I guess. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Married um, men can do no wrong, as we all know. <laughs> They never well, you know what I'm correct. saying. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm. It may look less like I'm on the hunt. I guess. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, married know, men never creeper are on the hunt either. Uh, whatever. You okay, know what yeah, I'm saying. All right. But it, but anyway, I'm um, like. Uh, but no, I, I got like it was like half and half, like women and men, like accepting. Interesting. Like blind too. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, I guess like, I just feel like I. Um, yeah, I'm always kind of skeptical when I receive like friend requests, and right. I'm like, I don't know this person. Why are they? You know. Um, but only two people out of hundred or so yeah you know, um had yeah. a response to it i find myself being very skeptical of that too yeah. uh even with like one mutual friend you're still kind of you know on the fence where i guess there's really no downside to accepting i think that's the basis of it there's not really a downside yeah. even though somebody's just basically looking at your life yeah because i don't uh, for me on facebook and i'm sure you've noticed it since we've become facebook friends all I do is share stuff. All I do is hawk my own stuff. You really do, much. yeah. You just publish, you market your band. That's I market basically. my band, yeah. my podcast, and stuff that I write here. Yeah, and that's it. I, so d- it, I literally just hawk my own it stuff. It really is like LinkedIn. That's yeah. what that's the way LinkedIn works. But it's also I don't want people to know about my life. Like that is yeah. just what I want people to see. I, I don't, you know. I'm right. A, I'm a, I guess that's true. It's I'm not a personal man. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I've got a lot of skeletons in my closet. <laughs> not really, but like. You know, like I think that I'm, I'm I'm a little bit more private. I don't really uh, like doing that kind of stuff, and I never have yeah, on social yeah, media. Yeah, yeah. Some people do, yeah, and, and some yeah. people really do. And I mean, hey, there's more power to them. That's cool. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I like I like having some mystery. Well, I I, I kind of want to take a look at this. So let, let's you know. So there's okay. this page. Um, so settings, and then uh, well, after you go to settings, at the bottom is download a copy of your Facebook data. Well, just just to let you know how how Facebook has buried this uh, this guide for downloading your uh, a copy of your data. The URL for this is uh, facebook.com slash help slash three zero two seven nine six zero nine nine seven four. Uh, five eight three eight. Were you following along with that, people? Um, <laughs> yeah, just type that into your browser. browser. Yeah. No, it's actually well, actually from the homepage, it's actually not as buried. You literally just go to settings, and it's the bot the thing on the bottom. I thought it would be so much more buried than that. At the bottom, download a copy of your Facebook data. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Isn't that okay. Crazy? Yeah, look at that. Wow. Okay, great. Like you'd think that'd be something they would. Uh, it is in pretty hide. small font. <laughs> well, then <think>, yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay, how can I download my information from Facebook? Okay, start my archive. All right, so, so it says start my archive. But let's let's uh, slow things down here so people can follow along. So yes. get get in your Facebook, go to settings. Um, you know, you'll see there at the top, um, next to your notification uh, globe there, and the um, the help button. Uh, you'll see the arrow. Uh, go down to uh, uh, right before log out to mm-hmm. settings. Uh, click on settings there at the bottom of general account settings you'll see uh, download a copy of your facebook data click on that uh, start my archive there you go you gotta put in your password all right my password is no, I'm just one kidding. two three um uh-huh. that's always that's one of my favorite space balls um things one two three four five <laughs> and, and then so like something that somebody would have on their luggage and then later it's what the uh right what's his name had on his luggage so here we go. Ads, contact info, events, friends, messages, mobile devices, photos, places. Okay. Pokes. I'm going to look at my poke history. Look at my poke history. I've never been poked. Dude, I've never been poked. Never been poked. Sorry. I've been trying to. I also just <laughs> talked really close to the microphone. I've been trying to figure mine out really quick here. It's a, the, uh, the sequel to I need to get a chest. verification. I haven't poked. used this email in so long that. Okay, here we go. So this is the really, this is the important one. So uh, if you look at the HTML for ads, you'll see which one, like which, uh, how you're targeted, your interest, stuff like that, um, how you're basically profiled by advertisers. So let's take a look at mine. Okay. Uh, ads topics. Uh, podcast. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Very uh, interesting. Arby's <laughs> is second. <laughs> <laughs> podcast. When I think of you, podcasts and Arby's podcasts are the two things Arby's. that definitely come That's up the great. most. I have no idea why Arby's is on my Facebook. I I don't feel like I've ever talked about Arby's, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> Facebook post from like six years ago. I was probably like, I love that Arby's. Man. Oh, yeah. I can't get enough. Uh, sports. Okay. Acoustics. 
Okay. All right. Judo, sure. These are all, all things I think of. Ultimate Fighting Championship. Um, Robert Reich, the uh, political pundit. Boxing, Frank DeBoer, uh, Denver, Aesthetics, Kiss, Television, Perfection, Bill Nye, wait, the Science wait. Guy. The, the band Kiss, I it's take it? It's unclear. Uh, I'm going to say it's the band Kiss. Uh, let's see some of the okay, Camera Obscura. Connor, Connor McGregor, um, physical fitness, lots of fitness stuff. Um, Barack Obama, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And then the last those one. Two, <laughs> those two are commonly put together. And then the last one is unthinkable. All right. Okay. Sweet. Um, and science and technology are on there. That's all right. All right. Um, okay. Like, uh, let's see. Oh, clicked ads. Oh, that's really interesting. Have you ever clicked ads the okay so yeah i mean apparently i have um it even tells it even has the like uh time signature like when i uh when i clicked them really oh wow that's funny all of my clicked ads are from this year what wait so maybe it's like sponsored posts i don't know is that um is that just what they've been tracking them I, i'm not really sure 15 marvel retcons that destroyed your your soul that was an ad I clicked on. I was what like, was, "What was number one?" Um, I want to say it was like uh, either that. Um, you know when uh, it, it was one I actually remember because I read um, like the uh, Iron Man comics a lot. You know when I was a kid, and it was when they took Iron Man and made him evil, and mm. then they traveled back in time to get the teenage Iron Man to fight the regular Iron Man. Oh, naturally. Okay, here we go. Advertisers with your contact info. I think that's the most. That's what the do you real. have? I, I already. I'm uh, still. I'm still. Navigating still loading all this. Yeah. All right. I'll give you a few of mine. Uh, Pandora. This is gonna be really funny if after all of this you don't even get any of mine and we just know everything about <laughs> oh, you. Man. Um. Okay. So, uh, Roy Blunt. Who is Roy Blunt? Oh, Roy Blunt. Can you look up Roy Blunt because apparently he has all my contact info. <laughs> He's your neighbor. <laughs> He's an advertiser. I guess. He's um, a United States Senator. Really? Roy Blunt. <laughs> oh, God. Um, here he is, and he has all of your info. Oh, my God. He's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> he has that all my has info. All your info. Yeah. Oh, no. So, the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority has oh, all my info. Well, of course. The Mummy. I don't know if that's The Mummy 2017. No, just the or... actual Mummy has the... your... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let Colorado vote. Um, Netflix, of course. Netflix, of course. I don't know what a lot of these are. Uh, Citizens for Utley. I have no idea what that is. Um, there we go. Deplorables against a consumer tax hike. What? My favorites. They have my info. Depl and then deplorables, deplorables, against... and then state what representative what Joe Paletta. I mean, yeah, what this is, is just so random. What does that mean? Huh? It's just this is fascinating. Why does AARP have my contact? They're, wait, they're, they're just they're waiting. waiting. They're like they know they know the big days coming. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. You know, it's funny. I was looking at um, you know top circulation, um, you know uh, numbers for magazines. Yeah. Uh, AARP like blows so many of them out of the water. Like, really is, is huge. Like if you think about it, it's like, it's like the like, it's one of the, like the biggest magazine, if not the biggest magazine. In yeah, the yeah. US. Like, oh, yeah. AARP is huge. It's because they got a monopoly on whatever it is they do. Well, sending magazines to old folks. Yeah, they got a monopoly of that. <laughs> It's got my entire timeline. Seriously? Yeah. Because how long have you been here? On? Um, I don't know. So like I guess some find out. Um so I've been on since two thousand nine, so really not that long. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this is my whole timeline. My <laughs> I know, first I know what you mean with the dead air, because now it's just literally just us looking through all of this. <laughs> but it's it's it is fascinating. My first uh are, are, my first you... one, uh, my first post is uh, I just joined Facebook and I've already wasted two hours of my life. <laughs> <laughs> be grim yet true. <laughs> I'm so close. And then my second post was if you were a billionaire, who would you hire to read you bedtime stories? Garrison Keeler or Morgan Freeman? <laughs> Brilliant post. I don't. I actually don't know the answer to that. I would say Garrison Keillor actually 
I feel like he would put me to sleep faster. Yeah, I could see that. I think at first I'd question why why there's somebody else in my room reading me to bed, but and then people are responding. And so I, I, I'm now reading all of the responses from people, like my friends. Who, oh, so there's that too? Yeah. So like some of like, oh my gosh, I never thought I'd see the day Miami, Florida is calling us. Evan, this is going to be a fun one to add. Yep. <laughs> oh my I gosh, I never thought I'd see the day Paul freaking French got a MySpace or Facebook broad <laughs> social network program, LOL. <laughs> And then the next one, for shame, you have come down to the last circle of hell. On a side note, enjoy the quizzes. They're a blast. <laughs> Where else can you learn what Twilight character you are or your real age? I like, uh, I like the sound of this. I feel like my fr- oh, See, I, th- I feel like my friends used to be, like, there, w- there was more, like, interactivity back in the day. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe I was just more active. I don't know. Now I'm seeing photos from when I used to uh, Photoshop myself into things. That was always good. Let me see, let me I'm see just looking I... at my. It's it's weird going back in time and looking at my uh, looking at my posts. Um, your knowledge of scientific biological transmogrification is only outmatched by your zest for kung fu treachery. That's one of my. That, that's a quote from Black Dynamite. I remember that. Okay. Quote. All right. Yeah. Look at my. Well, I was a little bit. Just finished a paper on the delusional romantic view of Spartan culture. Now watching 300 for <laughs>, laughs. Uh, Ooh. What year was that? 2010. Oh my gosh. It's almost like I'm on drugs looking at these old posts. Just through looking through the, some of this HTML, I'm just seeing all of these memories. So like uh, a venue we played in 2011, um, a band we played with once, um, something, I, something I was at like a week ago. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, this is fascinating. Robot really Holocaust bizarre. is one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. I don't remember it. I don't remember Robot Holocaust. Robot Holocaust? Yeah, apparently it's really good. All right. I need to check that out again. Okay, I think I can find out who has my... Oh, clicked da- clicked ad. Let's see. I clicked on uh, Spotify. Five Animals Who Are Thriving in Colorado I clicked on. Uh, I really haven't changed that much. It's too bad. I don't think I've, I've I don't think I've grown intellectually that much in the last <laughs> seven years because this is still a bad valid question to me. Why aren't all Marvel superheroes Norse pagans? I mean, friggin' Thor is right there. That's <laughs> what I said. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. So wait, that makes you um, that makes you fear that you haven't grown intellectually. I feel like at I've all. stagnated. Right. <laughs> if these posts are if these thoughts are still relevant to my <laughs> Okay, all right. To to me right now, I guess uh Oh, so these are all my likes uh that they find stuff off of. Let me look through some of these. Pokemon Platinum, The Killers, um The Offspring, Green Day Discography, uh Time Time Magazine, First Person Shooter Games, Click Hole. Or are these people that are ad- advertising towards me? Oh, yeah. Clicked ads that I've done. Which Super Smash Brothers character are you? Wait, did you say Roy Blunt? Yes. Roy Blunt has my contact info, too. <laughs> what, why is he, why Roy is he Blunt hunting has everyone's all? contact info. Let's see. So Spotify, LinkedIn, Hulu, Roy Blunt, the Luxor Hotel and Casino, Target. You guys need to check if Roy Blunt has your... This may yeah. be... He may have he everyone's may, contact I think he has info. everybody. He's the... Maybe we've said too much. He's going to. I don't. I don't know. This sounds like a powerful person. J.C. Penny has mine. Uh, Conservation Colorado has mine. I forget. I give my information out. AARP has mine too. Fear of the Walking Dead has mine. Slam Crate. Wix Espanol. Ah, uh, Milton Pins. Oklahoma Turnpike Authority. As mine too. Oh my god, that's crazy. Uh, Nissan trucks. <laughs> I don't drive, um, so that's interesting. Target style. Pet rescue saga. Man, these are interesting. Yeah, Hotel. this is just spa like... Las Vegas. Donald J. Trump. Oh wow, he has Trump my contact has it. info. Oh man. Well, I'm gonna politely ask him on Twitter if I could have it back. This is yeah, both the, of us realizing our lives. I know, and it's like a it's a life journal that I never thought really existed. Right. Um, look, 
you know, once again, it's just me and my nerdy self, like looking at myself from seven years ago. Oh. If I watch Transformers 3, I'm going to watch the ICP movie to punish myself. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny guy. I see po- ICP mo- uh, has had two movies, I think. Have one, they? Of it, one of them had both Har- uh, comedian Harlan Williams mm-hmm. and uh, the, mis- the band The Misfits in them. <laughs> so, little known fact for you. Um, this is so. These are all events. One of them was a in-store signing that I did at a Hot Topic in high school. Oh, and not many people came. <laughs> you did a signing. For, my my mom came for for what? What did you have? Uh, we had out? a CD. Oh yeah, a CD. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. back when we were a Misfits wannabe mm-hmm. uh, band, and uh, we recorded an album, and we had the signing. And uh, yeah, my parents came. They were very nice. They were very supportive. Mm. Not anymore, though. Now they're just like, you got to give that up. Um, I'm just kidding, guys. Events. What else? What are you looking at now? Uh, oh, just, friends. just, just I'm still weird. just looking at my uh, my old posts. Uh, the ice cream Sunday came about because religious laws in Illinois claim that God didn't want people to eat ice cream on Sunday. Not joking. I said, is that true? Okay. Um, <laughs> I do not know. Here's an interesting one. Friends. Oh yeah. Let it me shows you that. when. You became friends with everybody as well. Videos, surveyed responses. No surveys completed. I've never. You've never done a survey? survey? I guess not. You haven't lived, my friends. (laughs) Places, pokes, multiple. Okay, with some of the friends too, they have their email linked in here too. That's a little bizarre. Um, (laughs) Well, before we just spend the entire. episode pretty much just looking at our own pasts and wondering where the time went uh i do think we should get into you know what what this brings up and what you know i guess is there a problem with this is this is this bad uh no i'm just looking at all my friends Okay, so um, full disclosure here, uh, we have edited this podcast because after we downloaded all of the files, uh, Anthony and I just literally stared at the screen um, uh, randomly, like, you know. uh, Which is compelling radio, of course. Everyone everyone loves listening to two people looking at their computer screens going, wow. There's just so much dead air. Yeah, I was like, oh, look what I said back in 2010. Yeah, Yeah. right. I mean, so it's fascinating. I mean, take a look at it. Um, It. There, there are a lot of like uh, just strange things that you find when you're rummaging through all of those old files. Absolutely. Um, uh, when you're looking at the ads, uh, HTML, I think that's the the most interesting one, of course. Like mm-hmm. to see like who has your data, who has your uh, your contact info. Uh, Roy Blunt, uh, the it, politician. He has Roy all Blunt of our info. I has guess. both for 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 us, and we're and, like kind of like different politically a little bit. I I think I don't know. Like, uh, but I mean, we're I feel like we're not the same. Where some random senator right. has both of our has both of our well that, and then the Oklahoma like parking commission. Yes, or the, something turnpike like that. Commission the turnpike commission. The turnpike commission has of both our, of ours. Yeah. I don't think I've been to Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've left the state actually. So it's um, really strange. So um, uh, you know. Uh, Feel free to uh, follow those instructions. Do this if you haven't yes. um, before. Um, it, if nothing but, else, it's it's just kind of strange to see this mass journal of your online social life. You know, yeah. I, I don't know how long you've had a Facebook, but it's it's going to be well, you know. Pretty, if you've had a Facebook for a year, it's still going to be fascinating. Yeah, because yeah. you'll see. I saw uh, ads that I clicked on, and I I was with you. These mostly seemed like ones from this year, right? Where they were, and they were mostly articles. Mm-hmm. so it's that sponsored content thing yes but looking back at them i think i had talked about this a little bit earlier it was stuff that i enjoyed mm-hmm. it was like a quiz yeah, of which too. super smash brothers character am i or it's um something about like oh these animals right they were articles the, but yeah. they were actually articles and i don't know i think that's an interesting is that a good or bad thing not really I sure guess. like I, what's your because you're kind of more against i guess the uh not advertisements in general, just that like them getting. Ad I, I, I'm I'm against them uh, mingling with like free expression too much. Mm. Like I'm 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 against those those boundaries being blurred, like, right? Uh, and people being manipulated, like uh, without like w- without. I, I'm I'm just against the. I, I'm for transparency in advertising. I guess I'll put it that way. Right, and I, I think it's a tough thing to get like 
right though? Because obviously they need to make money. Yeah. Remember there was all those like rumors that they would start charging for Facebook and whatnot. Yeah. Which is obviously never going to happen. Right. But in order to keep it free and something that we go to every day, you know, a little a little cash has to get handed around. Sure. As sure. With, as with anything else online that we get for free, they got they got to make that. Make yeah. That of course. Green. No, I'm I'm not against that. I mean, I I just think that it boils down to the basic. Uh, precept that if you have a uh, a good product, um, then the product should basically be able to market itself. Right. Google doesn't have to do any marketing. Well, I don't know about that. I don't actually. know. I haven't you seen... say that? Actually, it was so weird for a while that they were doing Google like app ads. Really? Um, so like for the Google app, and you'd kind of think that does that is not something that needs to be yeah. advertised, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Now they're just showboating. At this point, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, now that I think about it, yeah, of course you have to do marketing. It doesn't matter who you are. But, right. you know, uh, I just think that if you have a really good product, then the direct approach, you, you shouldn't have to balk at the direct approach. You shouldn't have to find these these oblique ways of, like, manipulating people into buying your products. Like, I disagree. If the product's really good? Oh, well, I, I, I just disagree because even if your product's good, yeah. people are going to look past ads. No matter what, right? People are going to oh, you're saying walk away you're from the TV. Okay. People are going to, you know, uh, you know, when you see an ad um, on a web page, or even like in, um, I don't know, uh, web page, or like sometimes a magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll, you won't, you won't even look at it. Right. You'll just see. Okay, that's an advertisement. Right. And you'll do that. That's why that kind of content exists. Yeah. Uh, is because it's a different way to kind of get it. I see what you're saying, but uh, you know, I'm all for like creativity in advertising. But uh, I think that uh, when creativity becomes more about creatively deceiving somebody and mm-hmm. less about creatively presenting your product, I right. think that's where I have the problem. Um, well, I was thinking about this too, though, with Facebook especially. Well, I guess really with anything, mm-hmm. isn't it? You're just marketing yourself. It's kind of social media is just all marketing yeah. of some kind. Yeah. With uh, the way I use it, it's marketing basically my all my creative stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, with some people, it's literally just marketing their life right. to other people. Yeah. It kind of is all marketing of some kind. Well, you know, we work around salesmen uh, here at the magazine, mm-hmm. and you know, they uh, one of the one of their like um, you know maxims is that it's all sales all it's all sales yep. like in a capitalist society everybody's selling all the time it doesn't mm-hmm. matter what you're doing you're selling something like yep. always like you know and it's you know i used to teach uh, rhetoric in college and like that it, that's true rhetoric is omnipresent it yes. is uh ubiquitous it's everywhere like everything that you see is rhetorical it right is persuading you i used to tell my students like even a chair is rhetorical for like uh in some way uh informing how you're supposed to sit they're selling like, sitting to our it's, children it's like even the shape of th- something like a shape right. of a household item like has some kind of rhetoric involved like saying that you this is the norm this is how you should use something yeah. like there's so much of that like the, so everything is kind of selling the only uh way to sit that doesn't have a rhetoric is a beanbag chair so there's no <laughs> correct That's or true. wrong way to sit the beanbag chair and the it bean is the chair is the pbs it's of, the hippie um, it's the hippie chair it, yeah it really it doesn't, is it's not trying to tell you how to do anything right you just you do whatever you want with that beanbag that's chair. why you never see a beanbag chair in like a normal person's house That's they true. defy they're that's, defying that's the norm the with question, their chair you, know, you say no they're, they're too far out they have a they're beanbag a- in their house <laughs> i'm starting to have some questions um have you ever had a beanbag chair that you yeah. actually sat? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. did you when ever I was find like yourself six. actually like sitting in it though? Mostly, I would like bounce on it. I think you know, like jump on it and stuff. Yeah, because you can't like sit in it and read. You you basically just sit there when you're you're defeated. How often do kids sit voluntarily when they're kids? Though I did a lot. You I know? wasn't an active kid. I was super active. Yeah, really. Yeah, I was not All an active place. kid, and yeah. I hope my children are not active. The only time I would sit was when playing video games. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I guess me too. But even then, I'm, you, you, like a lot of kids just hop up and down and yeah, I don't yeah, know, yeah. punch That's the true. walls, yeah. All of that. But I guess what we're getting down to, I don't know how we got on that yeah, track. Yeah. Um, is that, yeah, that's interesting that you're always selling something. Whether, you know, in a job interview, you're selling yourself. Yeah. In everyday life, when people ask you what you do, you're kind of selling part of yourself. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Yeah. Wow, this got really philosophical. Dark. From, yeah. Wow, I can't believe Dr. Pepper has all my info. Yep. And we're going to and wrap up That here. is a good place. Uh, talking about beanbags and capitalism. 
great uh, title for this uh, episode, by Bean the way. Beanbags and Capitalism. Yeah. I like it. Uh, well, we will see you next time. We are happy to be back after a short hiatus here. And, uh, yeah, we will see you next time on the Innovation and Tech Talks podcast featuring Paul and Ants. Electric Boogaloo. Yes. <laughs>